Chapter 3, New Friends? Author's Note Some of the scenes below are a reference to Decca Ranger vs. Abba Ranger, one of my favorite crossover movies. Also, this is the chapter where Bulk and Skull will first appear as partial comedy relief who will be operating with the heroes in base. Oh yeah, rejoice as the coming of Kimberly Hart is nigh. Slightly revised, December 3rd, 2011. I'd hate to see what it looked like before. In the last episode, Trini was arrested along with Zordon, Jason, and Alpha 5 for a little investigation with the special police Decca Ranger. They were locked up in the SPD jail in the new Skybase. You got it all wrong. This is a misunderstanding, said Trini, who was still angry about her camera being destroyed in battle. Trini, calm down and think properly, said Jason in a rather dignified manner. We can prove ourselves innocent somehow. We're in this strange new world, so they'll think we're invaders. Very well then, but I'll kick their butt for accusing me of being a criminal, said Trini, who was still pretty pissed off at being wrongly accused. Trini, have you forgotten about your kung fu principles? Listen, we've got to stay calm, said Jason, holding her shoulders. He sat down, remaining calm, waiting for the Sentai Warriors to get them for some investigation. He knew that things would push through. Trini was getting highly impatient over the situation. If only I could get out of here, I'd kick that girl's butt. This is all a bad dream, said Trini, who was showing signs of being upset. Mika's spirit spoke to her, saying, Trini, you must remain calm. Listen to Jason. And stop acting like me, please! Be yourself! Tetsu and Jasmine were discussing some matters aside from their newly established relationship. Jasmine, my honeybee, you might think of considering that this could be like our incident with the Abba Rangers. What if they mean no trouble as well? I mean, said Tetsu. Still, we've got to be safe, because the enemy tactics are becoming more and more dangerous, especially with the rise of the United Alliance of Evil, said Jasmine. I'll start probing their minds. The guy who I find out is Jason, based on his papers, came in quite willingly. He is a highly dignified man, no doubt. He's been very cooperative. However, I'll still scan their minds in order to be safe. If you say so, said Tetsu. She touched her hand on each of the prisoners, but found none on Alpha's because he was a robot. Just then, Jasmine began to impersonate the MMPR action and F even Alpha 5's expression. Whoa, said Tetsu, amazed. Oh, what did I do? asked Jasmine. Now let's just take them all to the lie detector test. By the way, Tetsu, I'd appreciate if you had them tested right away. Also, we rescued another stranded person somewhere from the incident at the science center. His name is Tommy Oliver. Foreign visitor? Scientist? I don't know. He had no records here, but his ID says he's a paleontologist and high school professor, said Tetsu. Tommy? Did you say Tommy? We are his friends, said Jason. He eventually remembered his days he had with Tommy. He recalled the days when Tommy Oliver became the Green Ranger to the White Ranger and eventually Zeo Ranger 5. Yeah, he just did, said Tetsu. Oh yeah, before I can take your claim, you know him. We'll just need to clear you out. If you're guilty, then we'll have to hand you over to the authorities. Agreed, said Jason. I understand with all of that. Jason, you can't be serious about that, said Trini, being skeptical about the situation. That's the only way we'll prove ourselves innocent, Trini, if we just wait, said Zordon. Trini felt a little tense on the matter. She was uptight about the situation. Jason, I hope you know what you're doing, said Trini, still mad at Sakura. Jason, Zordon, Alpha 5, and Trini were taken for a lie detector test, which didn't take long. We were finally cleared based on Jasmine's records. And that reference to the Abba Ranger movie was completely pointless. Sakura was pretty worried she couldn't find a picture reference of Trakina, who she had fought a while ago during the missions. That creepy bug woman I fought bore no resemblance to any villains on the records. Could it be she's not of this world? Or maybe we're just pretty out of date with our villain files that we don't get anything new, said Sakura. 
It is possible that we could be outdated or she's not of this world, said Sota. None of the records of the previous Sentai villains show her at all. But she could be just a new enemy we're not sure of. What if she's Hyde Gein's daughter or some missing civilization we didn't know exist? This worries me, said Satoru. We could be facing a greater alliance of evil than in the past. So far, their leader Radige concerns me. He is far more evil than any villains on the record. I don't think I could match him at all. Me too, said Sakura. And I believe we're facing some mysterious visitors. We have to confirm whether or not they are part of an entire invasion against our world. And to be honest, I hate to think if Yamba is also back from the netherworld, said Masumi Inu. Once they fall down there, they're beyond redemption. And not to mention perhaps other negative syndicates, said Nasuki Mamiya, trembling in fear. We have to stay firm, said Satoru positively. Tommy was recovering from a rather nasty bump. His wounds were being tended to by Takaru Shiba and Mako. Ouch, this really hurts, said Tommy. Oh no, I broke my morpher. What's this stuff? asked Mako. Actually, I'm a Power Ranger in the past, and I carry that around. Those guys you took for a lie at Tester Tech are also my friends, said Tommy. You've got some interesting friends. I think it was reckless of Sakura to attack that camera woman just like that, said Mako. Finally, someone admits it! However, I did dream of seeing so many characters, at least seven different characters. One even said he was the embodiment of hope, and he was searching for the right person to help us, said Tommy. I just wonder who that will be, said Takaru Shiba. I guess he'll have a very grand appearance. In Tommy's mind, he was still disturbed at Akared's appearance as well. He thought of Akared originally wanting to use him as a catalyst to help both teams. Aka Red. If I'm not the hero, who is? said Tommy Oliver. Just as it was, Jason, Zordon, Alpha 5, and Trini got out of the testing room. They saw Tommy. Tommy, is that really you? I heard you were a doctor. I heard you and Catherine breaking up also, said Jason. I know, said Tommy. Teen love just doesn't last long, as most people think it does during their early teens. I do hope you can find your true love someday, said Jason. But to be honest, I nearly got engaged to a Japanese girl who refused her father's hand-picked fiancé for her. But in the end, I refused because it'd be a rushed marriage. I hardly knew her. And I don't have any love interest as of right now, said Tommy. In his heart, he was somehow still in love with Kimberly Hearts, but why did she break up with him? He was still longed for her, and Catherine could not fill the hole either. Jasmine and Sakura began to beg Trini for an apology. Hoji and Takaru Shiba went to beg for an apology, too, to Jason. They brought her camera's memory card, safe and sound. Sorry I ruined your camera, Trini, said Sakura in a rather slow manner of speaking. I decided to buy you a new one. Here it is. Actually, the memory card is still in one piece, so I placed it there. Thanks. Good thing the memory card is still in one piece, said Trini. Oh, I'm also sorry for the fight, too. Me, too, said Sakura. I was already falling into judgmental moods. Meanwhile, Jason is seen talking to Hoji and Takaru Shiba. We're sorry for attacking you, said Takaru Shiba. We thought you were an invader collaborating with a bat-like alien called Umbrella. I can understand what's going on, said Jason. After all, your world has been attacked by aliens and other evil organizations too much so you would normally suspect us to be so. If you landed in our world, we make the same mistake too. <laughs> Rangers. By the way, you're not Power Rangers, you say? I just find it crazy. An Earth where we don't exist? I wonder what's going on. But this seems to be a new experience for me. That's a term foreign to us. We are the Super Sentai, said Hoji. By the way, I think we can use additional help of defeating the United Alliance of Evil. If you're pretty curious, we got an archive on the various groups who defended this Earth for the last 37 years. I believe that yours could be a shadow of our world, and I'm glad that there are others who are like us. Another technique that's been used by previous enemies was also to create fake Sentai groups to destroy our reputation. Then again, there, that's another good reason why you'd mistake me for a villain, said Jason. I guess the villains in this world are more vicious than what I've seen. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is the first time I've seen so much gunshots in one day. Oh, for fuck's sake. But our latest problem is the United Alliance of Evil. Chewing on them isn't very easy. In fact, I really got so tired the other day, said Takaru Shiba. That's longer than ours, said Tommy Oliver, who thought of the long battles they had against Rita Repulsa and Lord Zed. Zordon overheard them and mentioned the dreadful name of the United Alliance of Evil. 
United Alliance of Evil, said Zordon. I thought they were destroyed when I supposedly destroyed myself to get rid of them. I guess I'm back because they're back in a new incarnation of evil beyond our imaginations. Now they are truly a united alliance of evil. This is another incarnation, I suppose. Before I got warped here, I received a vision of five people who said they were my five counterparts, which I believe is real. They said that a legendary conflict is happening. I believe the United Alliance evil has fallen under new leadership from this world and more evil than that is, said Tommy. Hoji was in deep thoughts about the sorrows of Decker Ranger. In his mind was a memory of him and his sister Miwa. Flashback to Hoji and his sister Miwa and their mother, who was given sad news from Special Police Decker Ranger about the death of their patriarch. We're sorry, Miss Tomasu. Your husband died in battle. However, you can take comfort and we have already arrested the killer and deleted him, said Numa O oh, as they entered their house. No, no, said Mrs. Tomaso, thinking of her deceased husband. Hoji, still small, held onto his father's Deca Blue helmet that they had found after their battle. His sister Miu uh, had no ambitions to be a Deca Ranger, but he did. Dad, you just watch. I'll be the best Deca Blue ever. That child you saved, I hope he will be the best Deca Red ever. Dad, someday I'll be a great sniper like you are, Hoji said in tears. Then the scene moves forward to where Hoji was applying to the Deca Ranger position as a grown man. Hoji, you can't. I can't afford to lose you like your dad, said Hoji's mother. I'm sorry, Mom, but I swore on my dad's grave that I would be the next Deca Blue. We'll soon have the best Deca Red ever, the top of the academy, Goki Roi, said Hoji. Hoji then left in tears, hoping to become the best Deca Ranger he can. He was greeted by Doggy Kruger and Jasmine. The flashback ends. Very well then, feel free to roam around a while before you start your official day tomorrow. I will be training everybody to get into proper shape to fight against the United Alliance of Evil, said Supreme Commander Ryu. He had also held vast amounts of wealth as of recent and being secretly a philanthropist. He had worked together with the SGS as well as he had held the rights to Romikian Enterprises. Meanwhile, the United Alliance of Evil had its own set of problems to deal with. Abrella and Trakina returned to the base, kneeling before him, but Tranza was too open about his plans to take over, which was a very bad move. Tranza, do you remember what I told you? You serve me now. If you don't kneel, I'll make you kneel, said Tranza. Radigate was showing his viciousness towards them for ruining his invasion scheme. He first fired some bolts, forcing Tranza down. Fool, said Tranza. I chose you as an acknowledgement of your abilities to this grand organization. You blew it. Now prepare to taste the consequences. You are all failures. He fired some deadly lightning, causing Abrella and Trakina to be in pain. The whole crowd watched. Apparently she's not so cut out after all, said Ta Auzanto, laughing as Trakina got her punishment. I have to admit, though, she's pretty vicious. It'd be a bad move to remove her for this failure. But Tranza, well... He had the honor to be higher than us, and yet he still got punished ahead of us, said Long. Forgive us, my lord, said Trakina and Umbrella simultaneously. And as for you, Tranza. <laughs> Dismiss, said Radigan. While you are in pain, think of how you can both serve me better. Meanwhile, I have some prisoners to execute. Yes, sire, said Trakina, and Radigate in pain? Maybe I should work on taking over, said Tranza, Trakina, and Abrella. Oh, God. Please tell me we haven't reached this point. We have, haven't we? Oh, boy. Here it goes. A strange man with ice powers named Florius crashed into the United Alliance of Evil Fortress with a rather stupid entrance. He fell down that hard it hurt his buttocks. Whoa, talk about being weird. This place is huge. I wonder if this is some convention of evil I could get involved in. If there is, I'd join it and beat those accursed overdorks, said Florius. He was accidentally revived and brought along in by Quester Guy and Quester Ree after a rather pathetic fight. He was also pretty surprised that his voice was changed to Japanese. What, the villains are doing it too?